Okay, figure shows an object at the end of a 0 0.7 meter long string being swung in a vertical circle. Calculate the minimum speed of the object so that the string does not go slack at the top of the motion. Good. So, all right. So, minimum speed of the object so that it does not go slack on the top. So, our, our uh, position is at the top. Yeah? Uh, our position is at the top. Let, let me draw it out. Position is at the top. Yeah. So, this is the center of the circle. Does not go slack. Uh, does not go slack. Minimum speed. Uh, the question asks for minimum speed. What's the V minimum? So, does not go slack. That means, uh, you know, the string. The string becomes like very loose. Uh, very loose. Very low tension. Uh, it's like go slack like, uh, like, like very loose like that. Yeah, very loose. Yeah. And then this this ball, if the if you know the speed of the ob object is too slow, if the speed of um, if the speed we travel with the minimum speed, uh, if you travel at the minimum speed, the the string actually is very loose, very loose, and this object actually uh, cannot uh, follow this uh, circular path. It actually can fall down from it. Uh, so we, we want to find that what is the minimum speed when this object just enough to make a smooth circle, smooth circular motion without falling off, without falling off. That is, uh, to find this minimum tension, this happens when the tension in the string, okay, let me draw, draw the free boy diagram first. We need to draw the free boy diagram first before we do these questions. Uh, the, fr uh, the, fr the, the free body diagram for this object is uh, we have the weight, of course we have the weight and in the string we have the tension, right? We have the tension, uh, tension always pull, always pull to the, yeah, always pull. And then, uh, uh, that's it, and then what's the, uh, we need to draw the centripetal acceleration, centripetal acceleration always towards the center of circle always towards the center of circle and that is AC um, okay and then uh, remember follow acceleration is positive follow acceleration is positive opposite acceleration is negative Newton's second law yeah follow acceleration is positive opposite acceleration the force is negative okay now does not go slack. That means what is the minimum speed when the string just uh, achieves zero tension? Ah, this is what it means. Does not go slack. That means uh, the tension just reach zero. The tension just reach zero newton because the for the speed is very slow. The speed is very slow. You can feel like the string is almost like loosened up. It's very loose. Huh? Uh, the the string is uh loosen loosen up uh, is loose already loosen up that means when the object is very slow this this string is like falling off it's like falling off the object also like falling off uh, that is when the tension becomes zero the string loosen up so uh, those not cause like okay so um okay now let us uh uh Write down the equations. Okay, so tension equal to zero. Remember that. So this is only for the y component, right? This is only for y component. So we can draw uh, right total f y equal to m a c. Uh, we still Newton's second law, but the acceleration here is centripetal acceleration, and centripetal acceleration always towards the center of circle. Okay. Okay now. So we have two forces, we have tension and the weight. And these two forces, they are positive. Both of them are positive. Why? Because this tension and the weight, both they are same direction with acceleration. Ah, same direction with acceleration. So both of them are positive. So write that down. Both of them are positive. T plus W. Both are positive because they're same direction with centripetal acceleration. Okay? Uh, continue. Uh, yeah, 
So we want to find, uh, okay, the AC, AC is actually V squared over R, right? Centripetal acceleration is actually V squared over R. So write that. So, so that's why here we have MV squared over R. Uh, okay. Uh, so so uh, we can say that from here, when, um, when, the, when the V is minimum, okay, V is minimum when tension here is zero. Uh, understand? Uh, we can say uh, velocity minimum when tension zero. Uh, velocity is minimum when tension is zero. Because this tension is a variable, the weight is not a variable, weight is constant all the time. Weight is depending on the mass. The mass is constant all the the mass is uh, constant all the time. So uh, the radius also constant, mass is constant, the weight also constant. So the only variable is between tension and the V. So uh, this V can only be minimum if because only the tension can change, right? Only the tension can change. Weight mass r cannot change only the tension can change so to get v minimum v minimum to get v minimum is when tension becomes zero uh, that's the lowest the tension can become it cannot become negative tension it cannot become negative tension the the lowest tension is zero uh, so the lowest tension is zero uh, so that's where the velocity become minimum okay so uh, let's uh, and then W become mg. Okay, let's substitute that. Yeah, first tension becomes zero, um, and then W is mg, and mv square over r. Uh, this is a uh, v minimum. Okay, and now we can uh, uh, divide by mass. Uh, so the mass is not not needed. So even the question not giving the mass also never mind because. It already been cancelled out, and then the R uh, is given. Uh, this is the R. Uh, this uh, zero point seven meter long string. This is actually the length of the string. This is actually equal to the R. Okay, this is actually equal to the R. Uh, we already have the R. Okay, actually there's a special formula for velocity minimum. Uh, you see, yeah, here you see. So uh, velocity minimum square is actually R G. Do you agree? Yeah, just multiply r to the top. So velocity minimum is actually square root r g. Is actually square root r g. Ah, square root r g. So actually, this is our special formula. If you for this kind of question, actually there is a special formula for to find the velocity minimum, which is this one. And the top is the derivation lah, which I have already shown you. Okay, to find the velocity minimum for this type of question is you just use this formula v minimum is actually square root rg but i don't like you to that, uh, directly use the formula i rather you understand the whole concept first how do i get this square root rg i don't want you to directly use this formula i like you to derive it up understand the whole thing uh, then then only this formula become meaningful to you you understand you must understand that uh, velocity is minimum when the tension is zero. Uh, does not go slack. That means tension is zero newton. No tension. When the ball is almost falling, when the ball is almost falling, the string is almost slagging. Uh, that is when tension equals zero. Uh, that then only can arrive to this meaningful formula. Okay. So now, uh, just substitute the radius, the length. You can get the answer ready. Yeah. So, um, so substitute r, r is 0 0.7, and then gravity is 9.81, and what's the answer? Let's find out. Okay, so the answer velocity minimum is 2.62, 2.62, yeah, 2.62 meter per second, okay. So the answer is, yeah, boy, okay, 2.6 meter per second. That's the solution of these questions. Okay, thank you and 
Bye-bye.